Now, give them credit. I thought some kids made, made some shots, but you know, it's like Asia when you get going early, all of a sudden that ba that basket looks awfully big, and uh, that that's what we allowed Gorecki to do and Odom to do, and give them credit. They uh, really shot the ball well, and played well. So Jeff, what do you look at defensively as, as far as metric? What what matters? Well, just effort. Like we allowed. Uh, 35, Aaron, I, I'll kill her last name, so I can try. But Aaron, uh, wide open shots. Like, we didn't even guard her. That wasn't the plan. Like, there was nothing in our scouting report that said, don't guard her, or allow her to shoot wide open shots. You know, if you want to try it once to try to, like, psych, psych somebody out, fine. But when they make it, you might want to guard it after that. And we never even made an attempt to guard her. Uh, I just told my, my, my Aisha, it, as good as she was Thursday at – or what, what is today? Thursday. Thursday. That's not Anthony, sorry. <laughs> On Sunday at, at NC State, she was as bad tonight defensively. You know, you're, you're going to look and be like, gosh, she had a double double. You know, my issue walks to the gym and gets a double double. That, that's what I tell her all the time. And, I, and, and that's pressure, whatever it is. She's that good of a player. What my issue needs to be able to do is get us 18 and 13. And she, and she, and she knows that. But tonight, she just wasn't there defensively. Um, and I, honestly, it's a, probably the first game all year that I've seen that, that bad. Uh, our guards did a really good job of keeping Lexi Brown in front of them and not, not letting her, her, her get going early. But our post players just did not perform as well as they have all, all season tonight. How do you deal with a transition defensively when you keep the focus on that? Well, it starts off by talking. Which we're we're very bad at that. But it's un unfortunately, I mean, in about 15 years when I'm no longer coaching, they'll probably come up up with something where they can wear it on their watches and text <laughs> as they're running down. You guard 20, <laughs> and then that 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 a buzz, and it'd be like 20 guard, you know. And then I'll run over here because you know it's difficult for them to talk on the floor. But hopefully, you know, somebody out there in Silicon Valley will start to do, do some work. And get us something that the kids can wear during the game to help us. Because right now we are bad at it. Is it symbolic of their age? No, it's just I mean, it's reality. I mean, if I could come up with it, I would have, have, have to do this. I'd be <laughs> it's so bad for me. I, I'm banking on on tomorrow night and in that Magnum Millions tomorrow night. Yeah. Now I'm banking on, on Magnum Millions. You all won't, won't see me if my numbers come up. <laughs> I was off by four. That's it. The last time I played. So Jeff, as bad as this game sounds to you, how nice is it to still be able to come out with a win? Oh, it's a win. No, I, I mean I'm thrilled with that. I, I told him. I mean the, this group of young uh, of young women just just put their stamp on a 17 and 0 start, uh, the longest winning streak in program history. I told him I'm really proud of them. They did that. I didn't score a point. They did it. Uh, they're the team that did that, and I give them all the credit. Uh, I love them, they, they're a great group of young women. They're fun to coach, but it's what coaching's all about. It's trying to develop it, it's trying to get more out of them, trying to get them to believe that they that they can give us more, that they have more to give. And as soon as we can get a few of them to believe that, then we have a chance to, to, to be special. I, I said it all along from the start of the year, I thought we had a chance to be good. I never dreamed we'd be sitting here at 17 and up. I mean, we've had a pretty competitive schedule, but we figured out a way to win some games. I mean, e e even tonight, they, it got to a point there where we could have folded. It got to three, and we easily could have sat there and, and lost that. But the kids figured out a way to win. Sam Fury steps up and hits two huge free throws for us. So, I, I just told him at half court, I, I don't want to have to lose for them to finally realize, oh, that jerk's actually right. <laughs> you know, and that's being nice for me. Probably a, a, a actually call me, uh, but it's—I I don't want to get there. 
I, I don't want to because we are, we don't need it. We don't lean to it. We just got to figure out a way to perform for 40 minutes, both offensively and defensively, if we're good enough. Can you speak about this team's dynamic? I don't know if it's like maturity or if they're just getting along better, but it just seems so much they're clicking more than they have in the in the past. Well, I, I think a lot has to do with how they respect each other. It's one thing I've told them. You know, it's impossible to be friends, best friends with 12, 12 people. It's not going to work. But you've got to respect each other's differences. And I think that's hard sometimes at, at this age. You know, and they've done an outstanding job of that. They appreciate what each other can bring to our team. And when you do that, then you start realizing, hey, we have a chance to be pretty darn good. We have a chance to be special. It's even at the start of the game tonight. I mean, Asia shot the ball. You know, they made some big time shots right off the the get go. And our kids were excited for it. Like they were trying to find her. And that doesn't always happen. We haven't always had that in the past. It's like, hey, so you've scored six in a row. Now it's my turn to get mine. Well, now it's like, hey, if you keep making them, I'll keep throwing them to you. And I think that's important. That's what you're supposed to do as a team. In the first quarter, there's 26 points. That's more than there were in the second half um, for you. What was your halftime message? Well, I, I really wanted us to not score. I said I wanted to try to see if we could bore the crowd to death. <laughs> uh, Run them out of the building. You know, yeah. I, I got a text from the concession stand saying, hey, stop scoring so people will come buy some food. And beer. The first half, no one wanted to leave their seat because I wouldn't have wanted to leave. That was a heck of a first half offensively by both teams. Yep. Um, no, we, we got stagnant. We we go into these spells, and then we, we, we missed some shots. I mean, we had some really good shots that, that we just missed that we normally make. Um, so we'll be able to watch some film and go over things. But I'll take the win. I think we definitely will take the win. I'm proud of them. And now we've got to get prepared for a, a really good Virginia Tech team coming here in, in here on Sunday. What went through your mind when Asia went down? Well, I, I, you know, it's, it's unfortunately it's part of the game, you know. So when I walked out, I, you know, my first thing is like, okay, what is it? She goes, it's my ankle. I go, we got two of them. Let's get up. Let's go. <laughs> you know, and she kind of laughed at me. She's like, coach. And then I, you know, I looked over and Lamont, our video coordinator, is on the bench. I'm like, hey, you mind helping? <laughs> you know. And then Lamont came over because I try to keep things light. I mean, you got to, if you're sitting there going, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? You're just causing more. You know. So Lamont came over. He. Picked her up real quick, and I'm like, Asia, you're the first uh, a, a woman he's had in his arms. <laughs> you know, and she started to laugh too. I mean, you gotta, you gotta be able to laugh in situations. Asia's like, I just twisted it. I'm like, all right, you know. And I wasn't sure if she would come back or not, but that's part of the game, you know. And and, and she knows I care about her. I'm gonna check on her, make sure she's okay. Uh, but then she came back and said, Coach, I, I'm good. I said, Okay, let's go. Now you 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 could tell she was favoring some. But she kept telling me, I'm fine, I'm fine. Rebounding is nice, especially on the offensive end, being more consistent than usual. Do you think that's what ended up saving you guys? Well, yeah, and we we got lucky. They missed some putbacks that we didn't do a very good job of boxing out on the first shot, but then they missed, uh, you know, a, a layup that was a little bit contested that they very easily could have made. Uh, and then we did a really nice job of finishing <coughs> on that second one. But for us to win, that that's what we have to do. We have to rebound the, the basketball. What surprised you or your team about Greg's performance? Not, nothing really surprised me about it. I mean, I I watched her play in high school. She's a heck of a ball player. Um, you know, the frustrating thing for me a little, a little bit is she goes left every time she shoots. That's You watch her on film, it's what she does. She goes left and shoot. She goes left and shoot. And that's exactly what she did for 25 points. She went left and shot. You know, like if she had gone right and scored, then I would have been, hey, that's my fault. You know, I'm like, guys, make her change the scat for it. You know, that's when we have film now, we can play player tendencies. But unfortunately, I, I'll give her credit. She uh, she did a heck of a job and beat us at what she does well. Jeff, has there been a point during, during this whole streak that you could see players start thinking about it or how have you really kept them kind of focused on the game ahead? Now, we at, you know what? We talk about it like I'll tell them congratulations. You know, we're 17 and 0, it's a school record. But nobody. You know, there, there's no trophies handed out in January. You know, no, no, nobody's going to come and give you a trophy in, in, in January. So we know what we're playing for. You know, so it's one game at a time. 
and our our goal the end goal and that's to compete for an ACC ch championship and then hopefully compete to get to a, a final four and compete for a national ch championship now you know that's everybody's goal it's not simple but it's something that we are striving to attain are there things this team can do defensively it didn't happen in the ninth round but it said it can do defensively the past teams couldn't pretty much had a talent or depth this team will build you know what we have some ability in like Dana Evans to put more ball pressure on the ball than we've had in the past uh, and then with Sam and Maisha and Kylie and Bianca I've got four post players that are pretty interchangeable so it's not like I can't switch post to post or I can't get out there and, and, and double the ball screen. You know, they're pretty mobile. And I we haven't always had four of them that are as mobile as those four are. But I'm, I'm challenging all four of them. I mean, I, I told Kylie and Bianca tonight, I said, y'all want to play more, that's great, but you've got to start giving me more practice so I have the confidence to, to put you in the game. <laughs> so I'm challenging the, those two because tonight, my, my, like I said, my issue wasn't very good. So I've got to have somebody that can put some pressure on her to be able to like, man, I got to pick it up, or I'm gonna sit over here. Early on, scored with Asia out, was called to the line during that stretch. What did you see as far as the way you've adjusted to their absence? You know what? We have actually done really well at times with Asia on the bench. I told Asia during our NC NC State game in the set the, the second quarter, I took her out to give her a breather, and the mistake I made was putting her back in and she kind of looked at me like I was crazy I was like we were playing well our offense was moving we were moving with people were moving without the ball because at times it's same thing when we had Angel here and Shelby when you have a, when you have players of that caliber sometimes you you can get caught watching you know because I especially with the way that game started I mean I was watching I mean it, it was pretty impressive what Asia was getting done offensively so sometimes you, you get there and you get stagnant. And then when she goes out, we're forced to move forward. Because there's not, not that one person that can just take over like she, like she can. So, you know, our Oregon game here was the same way. We're up 10. She picks up her second foul with eight to go in the second quarter. I take her out. And then next thing you know, we're up, we're, we're up 18 against a top five team. So we've had stretches where we're pretty good if I've got to put her on the bench. Now I prefer not to. But when those times come, I feel good enough about our ball club that we can still perform. Yeah, what about the atmosphere? It was fantastic. Our crowd was great. I thought, I just, I appreciate it. I do. I appreciate all the fans that came out here tonight. Uh, uh, thank you to all of them. I know it was not a warm evening to be out, but I hope they enjoyed the ball game, and I hope they'll, they'll come back on, on Sunday. Uh, it's a Virginia Tech team that, that, that's good. And they're, the, the, these, these young women are fun to watch. I, I, at least I think they are from my standpoint. I mean, I'm not saying it's, it's pretty all the time, but there's no game. There's no team you're gonna go watch, you're like, wow, that all this looks great. But their effort's outstanding. I think these young uh, women give great effort game in and game out. You don't have to give us all your numbers quick. Could you give us one Mega Millions number? What's on your sheet? I was off four of them the other night. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got a lot, of, a lot of work to do. <laughs> Play your team's numbers, Asia's, 25, I know, I, I 3, 23. Boy, 23. Boy, everything had changed. <laughs> 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 Thank you, everybody. Thank you all so much for coming out. Thanks, Coach. Really appre